It's the ability to have a very immersive experience. So let's say I'm learning how to work in a, a bank as uh, one of the tellers or one of the, the people dealing with customers. The ability that to create, for instance, uh, a learning program that gives me a 360 view of the bank and that when a customer comes in, they look very realistic, they are realistic, and I can get close to them in that process. The second element that is particularly interesting about this is the degree to which there are what I would call biometric data reaction. Um, when I put this glass on, in addition to a password, it actually maps to what my retina ID is as part of my access. But in addition to that, there's a whole bunch of data and it's not being leveraged yet, but once again, I said it wicked could um, to be able to, for instance, know is somebody confused while they're taking a leadership program? Mm. Is somebody curious? Is somebody uh, got a big question? And there are all sorts of biometrics that we physically communicate that are interesting. Augmentive and immersive. And what I mean by augmented is I can put it on and I can still see you. Mm -hmm. I, I see in front of me some content and I could be learning, for instance, how to operate a system by uh, looking at my screen in that. And what this would do would be, it would add uh, prompts, workflow support, and other elements there. The final piece that we think is intriguing is the ability to build collaboration. How do we get a learner who is learning to in real time collaborate with somebody else, even if one learner is in Bangalore and the other learner is in uh, Los Angeles and the third learner is in Colombia in South America. So we think that there are all sorts of abilities.